This week, more AI announcement pushed the S&P 500 to higher levels. We'll reveal the stocks that drove the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. Don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500 index. Let's jump right into it for today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,464.62, up 0.6% from last week. The P/E ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 28. 40, up 0.2 points since last week. Here are your gainers. Amazon is up 56.4 billion or 3% following reports that the company is working on an AI upgrade of the Alexa service. This has been a long time coming. Microsoft is up 53.6 billion or 1.6% on no specific news. Alphabet up 35.1 billion or 1.6% on no specific news as well. Tesla is up 15.9 billion or 2.8% on revival the possibility of future production of an affordable EV. Accenture up 15.1 billion or 7.9% missed earnings expectations but reported strong AI bookings by its customers. Moving on to your losers, Nvidia is down 130.6 billion or 4% as investors took profits following the latest run-up. The company briefly passed Apple and Microsoft to become the most valuable company owner. Apple is down 76.7 billion or 2.4% on no specific news. Broadcom down 32 billion or 4% on profit taking by investors. Meta is down 23.8 billion or 1.9% on no specific news. United Health is down 12.6 billion or 2.8% as the company provided an update related to a recent cyber attack. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. So what should you look out for next week? We're repeating last week's warning that investors should be careful that we're in the late stage of an AI bubble. Nvidia passed Microsoft and Apple to become the largest company in the world sooner than expected. As we covered last week, the bull case underestimates two things. Number one, the cyclicality of the chips business, as analysts predict the forever expanding market for the firm. Number two, TSMC and other Nvidia suppliers will never increase prices on the company, even if they have publicly announced it. Both assumptions show a wrong understanding of business, and investors will be severely disappointed once the market corrects itself. Six companies will release earnings during the week ending June 28, 2024, and the most interesting will be FedEx on June 25th at 4 p.m. Central Time, expected to report $5.38 EPS on $22.08 billion of revenue for their Q4 2024 results. Micron on June 26th at 2.30 p.m. Mountain Time, expected to report $0.53 cents EPS on $6.67 billion of revenue for their Q3 2024 results. Nike on June 27th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report 84 cents CPS on 12.86 billion of revenue for their Q4 2024 results. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia was up last week, you should watch this video next.